They say these woods are full of stories, or legends and such. Yeah. The stories that keep kids from wandering off, I bet. Maybe. But some of them are unsettled. Do you hear that? It's probably just an animal, relax. That didn't sound like any animal I know. You're just spooked from those stories. Evening, folks. Mind if I share the warmth of your fire? Sir, sure. take a seat. So what brings you out here? I'm just passing through. These woods are full of interesting tales. Like the story of the lost traveler, consumed by his guilt. What is that one? Many years ago, in these very woods, there lived a young man. Not unlike either of you, full of dreams, fears. One day, he ventured deep into the forest. What he saw wasn't something tangible. He was running away, trying to escape the guilt that consumed him after a tragic accident. This accident, you see, wasn't just a twist of fate. It involved his closest friend. Friendship destroyed in a moment of recklessness. The young man's guilt was like a shadow following him, whispering in his ear, especially in the dead of night. What? What happened to him? wandered these woods for days, haunted by the voices and memories of the past. They say he came across an old mirror in the ruins of a long forgotten cabin. And in this mirror, he didn't see his reflection but the accusing eyes of his lost friend. And then? The eerie forest with its silence and whispers drove him to madness. They found him eventually, lost, staring into that old mirror in his own tormented psyche. His guilt had become his world, his reality. So remember, sometimes the ghosts we carry in our minds are far scarier than any specter of the night. How do you know that story? The woods whisper secrets. You just have to listen. This isn't funny anymore. Remember, sometimes stories are more than just tales. What? Man, was he real? Or just part of our imagination? Let's not find out.